right drove one and a half hours from uh, come and help uh, John he called me and he has a leak on his roof and big problem is this is a torch down roof look at this this is a torch down roof you can see the every three feet there's a torch uh, a seam and another torch down this way but seems like they added this facade here and they had these uh, supports added and then somebody came and they did a uh, like an EPD now oh, this is EPDM or something support on a torch down they did the EPDM and they didn't know how to make a transition and all the tar and everything a lot of tar yeah this is always a sign of amateurism and it's, it's very bad so just have to find out where the leak are leaks are it's getting it's cold it's gonna rain in the next hour or so but this is cold very cold so hopefully i can help Okay. And this edge here, if you pull... Yeah, that EPDM, the transition to EPDM yeah. and uh, torch on, that's not even going to work. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so if you want to get an idea of how it looks, that's how they normally look like. But I, I put like a, I put like this much crap on here. Yeah, I see. Like, <laughs> so they normally go about here. So, yeah. Okay. It lasts for about a year. <laughs> I did it about a year and a half ago. And then it starts cracking because it's rubber. Here's going to be the problem, is to make a transition to this. Yeah. Uh, there's no way you can do it with tar or... Alright, so we're back for another day and we're going to do the job. And as I explained, this is an EPDM membrane coming down the wall and a transition to a old torch down roof. You see, this is a problem. This is a torch down roof and it's a transition. And when they added these posts, they tried to make a transition with a EP with EPDM and we're lifting we're removing the EPDM because the EPDM <coughs> this EPDM doesn't stick to um, to the torch down and then the way they made the transition around the posts didn't work either you can see all the rust there so water was coming in so that's what we're gonna fix now so cut it you know, uh, Luis yeah. cut this one straight here and then we take a shovel and we do the same thing so we're removing all of this. You see all the tar around? Yeah, a little bit more until you get to where it ends. Okay, that's it. Whatever we can do to remove it. Yep. Wow, they put a lot of EPDM, huh? Look how many, there you go. You want the shovel? Easier? That's it. That's it. So it was leaking. That's it. Removing all the tar and EB, EPDM because you can see it never stuck. It just comes up. Nothing sticks. <coughs> all right, that's good. So now we're back to square one. We just have to get all the tar and goop out and we can do a nice clean job. All right, so uh, we got the EPDM removed, and that's what it looks like now. The next step is to clean the metal. This metal, I need to want to clean it so there's no paint and rust, so we can uh, cover this, make a transition. It's a little bit difficult because this is sticking out from the roof. And uh, I wish I could cut it, but it's going to take too much work. I can see if I can cut it. Let me see if I can cut it.
Nice. That will do it. So I remove this piece so I can put my membrane and do a transmission around here. Yeah. Transition. That is really nice. If I can do that with all of them, that will be nice. Might make the job so much easier. All right. That's nice. So we got all of this almost prepared. And now we're making the transition to the wall. We're taking that off. We're going to use a chalk line to cut it. Just up like that is fine, or maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All the time. <laughs> look at the leak. The leak was not even around the post. Look, look, as this is wet. The plywood is wet here. Everything is wet behind the wall here. It was coming from here. The leak was coming from here. Uh. So that's what was leaking. And he was thinking the posts are leaking. It was not here? No. <laughs> so that's it. Show the Lewis at the top where the leak is. At the top, yeah, there, inside, behind that metal there. That's it. <laughs> yeah, well, the problem is to find the leak. People don't know where to look. I told him it's leaking there, but he didn't believe me. He wanted to do everything. Okay, that's what's leaking. We got it. All right, so. I'm trying to get the level around the posts and so the foam this foam is sticking up too much so I want to get it level as possible so what I'm going to do is heat up my shovel and hopefully I can, I can cut the foam with the shovel I'm going to cut it yeah all right that's it that's level enough like this one it. Get it level. This one as well. I think we've got that one. Yep. Get level there. Nice and clean. Preparation. Preparation. Want to heat this up or not? Huh? Yeah, we don't even have to heat it up. Nice. Nice. Let me explain something. The torch got my leg. Let me explain something. The hardest part of any job, it doesn't matter what you're doing, is preparation. And you can tell people didn't prepare properly and they just went over whatever they could. There's no preparation. So preparation is the number one thing on any job. So we had to prepare, get all the junk off what people have added to this, the tar and, and the transition, and we cut even the metal the metal around the, the post, and then we cut that away. So everything is preparation, so we can do a proper job. That is the number one thing. Once you prepare properly and, and well, the job is easy. And then everybody wants to do it. So once we got this off, it's gonna be a very easy job. All right, we're almost there.